Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a flip through of the February 2018 Just Cross Stitch issue. I was very excited to get this the other day in the mailbox. I know some of you have been disappointed with Just Cross Stitch the past couple of issues. I still really love this magazine. You know, Cross Stitch magazines in the US anyway, they're a dying breed. And you'll be glad to know that I decided to subscribe to Cross Stitch Crazy for 2018, so I will be doing some flip throughs of those when I get them. I found a deal just like I had found for World of Cross Stitching, uh, 13 issues for $49.99, which is a great deal considering if you buy the issues in the US in a store like Joann's or whatever, they're like $12 a piece, at least $10. So within five issues, I had my money, you know? Mm -hmm. Today's mug, one of the ones I got at Hobby Lobby. Really love this one. I like the inside, it's teal. And I just got up like five minutes ago. I was like, F it, I'm just gonna do this video. And I have my little pup with me in the chair. Isn't she the cutest? Okay. So, let's see what stitchy goodness Just Cross Stitch has for us this issue. I'm already loving the design on the front cover. I, the back stitch. It doesn't look like it'd be too bad because you would just complete it as you completed each motif, right? Yeah. <coughs> so, let's get in here and see what's what. Oh, of course, DMC, their inside cover art, you know, shot is the new tin with the 35 colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, there's some good designs in here. I just took a glance at. Okay, the first design is called Small Winter Sampler by the Primitive Hair. Ooh, Primitive Hair is now designing for, well, I think she's done a couple other designs for Just Cross Stitch. I actually like that. I love the border. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like that. And of course they give you the alphabet on the other side of the page. So you can do, <gasps> Ooh, I have to stitch this next one. This is called Let It Snow by Shannon Grierson of Bobbin and Fred. Look at that. I love that. I love how it's written. And I like the pom-pom trim. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see what... <clears throat> okay, I think... Oh, you know what would be a really good idea? The snowflakes. See the snowflakes? What would be good is to do them all in petite treasure braid. Like that white glittery one and a light blue. This only takes three colors. Baby blue, light blue, winter white. That's it. Oh, and I have like hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie's dried thistle. That would probably look really good on that. Unless I wanted to do something totally different, you know, but if you were trying to get fabric that was like that, yeah, I really like that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I need to win the lottery so I can just stay home and stitch all day. Okay, here is the design on the front cover. It is called Winter in the Woods and it's by Becky Spencer. It's only 78 by 78. Yeah, I like that. I think I would put some eyes on the deer though, like little petite beads. Yeah. Very cute though, really, really like that. The next design is a woodsy bookmark by Nikki's Creations. We know how I love to read. And I finished that book. Well, by the time you see this, it's going to be like two weeks after I've shot this video, so. Okay, here is Long, Long Winter by Primitive Acorns. It's a good primitive design for you guys that like primitive stuff. Or you could really jazz this up by changing some of the colors. Like, you could make the sled like a really bright red. Uh, Classic Colorworks Ribbon Red. Or the red that I'm using for my cardinal piece, which is Weeks Dye Works Candy Apple. 
Yeah, you could definitely change the colors in that. Okay, the next design is called Winter Barn by Snowflake Stitchery. Not really my taste, but, and that's, uh, that's solid stitching. Yeah, that's that whole square is solid stitching, so that's a full coverage piece, people. <clears throat> a lot of colors. Calls for a whole lot of colors. And I notice in the magazine, and I don't know how long they've been doing this, everything is charted for DMC and Sullivan's. Interesting. Maybe I've just been daft and haven't noticed that. Okay, the next design, and I am not going to try to pronounce this name. It's just called Deer. And I'm going to show you the designer's name because I would murder that. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. But here's the design, and they have it on a tote bag. <clears throat> I actually wish this magazine came out once a month, that we got 12 issues instead of just six. Okay, the next design is called Winter Bluebird by Peacock and Fig. And I like how they framed it in hoop. I may try that finish at some point, especially something that is a circular design. That would be perfect. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see what their favorite finds are. They have a page of favorite finds of products. You know me in gadgets. Yeah, I like doing my gadget videos. Okay, one of their products is Pat's favorite needle. $25? Why is one needle $25? Okay, <clears throat> it's a one and a half inch, oh, needles, but still, how many, oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. You get 25 needles in a pack, so they're only like a dollar a piece. It says the long gold tone eye differentiates these needles from others and the needles glide easily through even the finest linen. Hmm. Maybe I should do a product review or a test on it. Hmm. Okay, and then, of course, the next one is the thread cutter's ring. You know, I've never tried that. I'm tempted to buy one and do a product review on it. I think I might do that. Now that they, it's only $12. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I think that's going to be a video upcoming. And then Zappy Dots, Stitch Dots, Needle Nanny, Bracelet, and Necklace. So now, you know, the Stitch Dots, the little tiny magnets that I think are way overpriced for the size. They're only a one-inch magnet, and they're like $12. Well, now you could, they've made them into necklaces and bracelets, so you can wear it. Yeah, I don't know about that. But that Thread Cutters, look for that in a future video. I'm going to get that and try it out. Okay, the next design is called First Snow and by Sharon Pope. That's another almost full coverage piece. The only part that's not stitched is up here. A nice wintry scene. Not my aesthetic, but everybody has their favorite stuff. There is an article. Okay, they are now doing an exclusive series about stitching history called the Sampler Sleuth. So they have an article about samplers, if samplers could talk. A designer Q&A with Deborah Fasano. And the next design is called Glad Tidings and it's by Deborah Fasano. This is actually really pretty. This reminds me of something maybe Gerald, Ginger Gerald would like to stitch. Or even Caroline because I just watched her video and she stitched I forget the design but it was really pretty and it was something like this where it had these kind of motifs in it <clears throat> Let me take another sip of coffee here It's still hot. That's amazing. Usually my coffee seems to cool in like five seconds. Okay. The next design is called Lovely Bride's Jewelry Roll. Oh, part one. So, 
Okay, there's going to be three parts. So they're going to stretch this over two other issues of the magazine. And they say this is advanced, probably because you're putting together an envelope. This is by MTV Designs. So there will be the finished product. Yeah, look at all that stuff inside there. Never been that adventurous to try it. If you watch my ornament video, you see how I did painting glass ornaments. So, yeah. Oh, this is cute. Oh my God. Are they gonna, is this a new monthly series? I think it is. This is way too cute. And man, you can go to town with some over dyed or variegated thread. Okay, yes. These adorable designs are the first in a year-long series of quick to stitch easy projects. They're called mini bunnies. You know how I love bunnies. These are January and February. Oh my God. Aren't they cute? And there's February. Oh, yeah. And I like how they're all done in one color, like I said, so you can use variegated thread or over dyed thread. Ah, I can't wait to see the other ones. And they're really small. They're only 39 by 59. Yeah. The next design is another design by Nikki's Creations, and it's called My Heart is True. And they made that into a pincushion. I like that. Ooh. Oh, this makes me want to do hard danger. The next design is by Crafty Cat Designs and it's called Peachy. Man, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. And look, that looks like 3D. Like, is that? They had to attach that. I don't know. I'd, I'd love that. I think I would do it on fabric though that it would show more. You know what I mean? But yeah. Really, really love that. Ah! The next design is by Fairy Wool in the Wood and it's called Strange Love and it's two towels. You'll see why I screamed. Look, it's a fox, Lord Fox, and then Lady Hen. Yeah, I like those. They're cute. What is that banging out there? Oh, someone's getting a new roof two doors down. What is that banging? Okay. The next design is called Loving Home by Natalia Luneva. This is kind of interesting. Look, it's a heart. And so she made it, the scene into a heart. I like that. It's actually quite a bit of science in this magazine. <gasps> oh, there is, oh man, I like this. May have to stitch this. It is called Peace Angel by Leslie Tear. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Love that, love, love, love it. And I've never stitched a design by her. Usually she's designing for the British Cross Stitch magazines. Love it. And French knots, that's a big no. Beads, would be using beads. Wow, they say skill level is advanced. Is that what I am? Am I an advanced stitcher? <laughs> I guess because if you're able to do back stitch French knots, yeah, who determines what's beginner, intermediate, advanced as far as, um, ooh, the back stitch. Oh my, on the birds, yikes. Oh, that may have been it. Yep, that was the last design. And I didn't even realize in the back now they tell you how to cross stitch. And they give you a bunch of stitch illustrations, which that's awesome. Look at all that. I think they've always done that. But um, that's a really cool idea. They give you a bunch of stitch illustrations. Okay. And oh no, there's one more design. Silly me. 
It is called Christmas Log Carrier Ornament, and it's by Judy Ignaciuk. Well, that's an interesting way. Oh my God, you use cinnamon sticks. Look at that. So that it looks like logs. Yeah, I like that. I love cinnamon sticks. Maybe I have to use them in a finishing sometime. So that really is the last design because it's just about the last page of the magazine. And the last page just goes through and gives you, shows you all of the designs of the magazine and what page they're on, which I really love that they do that now. Okay, I really like this issue. So this is the February 2018 issue of Just Cross Stitch. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.